As soon as the game ended, chaos erupted. The home team in Malang, East Java, Indonesia, losing to their arch rivals for the first time in decades. Angry soccer fans rushed the field, rioting, throwing bottles, surrounding police vehicles, and clashing with officers. Then this moment when riot police fired tear gas into the crowd, triggering a deadly stampede. According to officials, the stadium was over capacity, packed with more than 40,000 people. Officials say at least 125 people were killed, many trampled and suffocated, and more than 300 injured, many still in critical condition. This survivor saying many of our friends lost their lives because of officers who did not treat us as humans. This is a dark day for football and the tragedy beyond comprehension. FIFA, soccer's global governing body, bans tear gas in stadiums and is now investigating the excessive use of force by police. The Premier League in Indonesia will be suspended while a full investigation takes place. This morning, the aftermath visible in the light of day, the global soccer community united in grief after one of the deadliest days in the sport's history. Molly Hunter, NBC News, London. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.